as you can see by my shirt, I'm a big fan of the TV show Tales from the Crypt, and I actually have the whole collection of action figures from the show Tales from the Crypt Keeper, which premiered in 1993 and lasted about three seasons. Tales from the Crypt started, I believe, in 1989 and went for seven seasons, and in the middle of Tales from the Crypt airing is when Tales from the Crypt Keeper was spawned as a spin-off show for kids. And being a big fan of Tales from the Crypt, you think, I would have also watched Tales from the Crypt Keeper. So maybe I'm a terrible fan, but, because I never watched Tales from the Crypt Keeper. But I wanted to show off my Tales from the Crypt Keeper collection today. But most of these you can think of as your typical kind of like a cart like kid friendly cartoon versions of you know your classic like monsters or kind of when you think horror stuff like at least kids are familiar with but the first one I'm going to start with is the gar it's referred to as the gargoyle and this is probably the worst camera angle you're just going to see all this reflection because all these here I've never opened obviously if you're a collector you don't want to open these um, but this is probably the worst one I have as far as quality goes like a lot of these that I own kind of the top layer is like a little bit warped and it's not in the best condition but to me it's still good and it's still collectible but this like at the bottom it's like very warped like some of the plastic is like you can tell like someone like tried to crunch it up and stuff but it's still worth having so this is the gargoyle next up is a classic monster that everyone knows even if you're not the craziest fan of but that's the mummy and the mummy's pretty cool the mummy kind of reminds me a little bit of frankenstein's monster just on the look but he's kind of making like some he's kind of making like the weirdest face like ah yeah it kind of reminds me of um frankenstein's monster a little bit but he's pretty cool i have no problem with the mummy and speaking of frankenstein's monster next up is the frankenstein um well he's known as the frankenstein he's not frankenstein's monster that whole thing about frankenstein and Frankenstein's monster a lot of people get really like a lot of people get really angry about that and how people don't know the difference and Frankenstein is the name of the doctor he's Dr. Frankenstein and then his cr his creature is just Frankenstein's monster you know like I I don't care to explain that to people like if they don't know that at this point like it's not really worth it's not really worth going crazy over like just pick your battles um but he's kind of making this like uh, uh, weird face kind of like it it's kind of the faces i make when i don't like i'm being super socially awkward which is like 99 percent of the time um but next up is the werewolf he's pretty cool he just looks like he's ready to tear someone's head off in a in the most friendly way possible also something funny is uh the thing about when someone turns into a werewolf, usually, yes, it rips their clothing, but he has some, it almost looks like the Incredible Hulk, basically how the Incredible Hulk, like when he, when Bruce Banner turns into to the Hulk, like his shirt rips, but like his pants like rip just a little bit and like are like teared off into shorts. But normally he has like purple shorts, but it just looks like you took like the concept of the Incredible Hulk and was like, no, he needs, he needs jean, jean shorts, like ripped jean shorts, but he's still cool. He's still a friend of mine and he's got red eyes. You can't really tell on this though. Next up is the zombie. Who doesn't love a zombie? Yeah, the zombie's pretty cool. I mean, he looks, he's like basically the exact shade of green as the Crypt Keeper is in the show Tales from the Crypt Keeper. Crypt Keeper look, I didn't really say this, but yeah, the Crypt Keeper looks very, very different in the, the cartoon version or the kids version of, um, or in Tales from the Crypt Keeper. And also like the box doesn't have the best 
quality because there was the price tag decided to, they decided to slap a price tag in one of those stickers that doesn't peel off easily because I tried to peel it off and it didn't work. But yeah, the zombie, it's a pretty cool guy. I like him. My dogs keep barking. So I wasn't lying when I said with um, the gargoyle creature, like the packaging was pretty messed up. But um, actually, I think this one might be the worst one. But this guy's pretty awesome. One thing I did notice, I don't think I've ever noticed before, is all the creatures on this are making ridiculously weird faces, and I kind of love it. But this is the vampire. He almost reminds me a little bit of the fan of the opera, just a little bit. Like, you know, when the phantom takes his mask off, he kind of kind of has like that crazy outrageous face like Lon Chaney does in the original Family Opera. But Vampire is pretty cool. He doesn't have any fangs, or at least he's not showing his fangs, but I guess I actually have to watch the show to get context to these creatures, but he's pretty cool. The packaging, um, it's like bent a lot here, and at the bottom, this is like all warped, and someone got really angry at this and took out their frustrations and hostilities on it. But yeah, um, I think the vampire is okay though. And so I thought I'd save these other, the last two for the last because you have the star of the show. But what's funny here is when you see the Crypt Keeper from Tales from the Crypt Keeper, he's wearing that like brown robe and he has like, he's like all green, his skin is all green. But these figures kind of are in the spirit of the original Crypt Keeper from Tales from the Crypt. Well, if you want to get really technical, there's a Tales from the Crypt movie that was in the 80s and the original Crypt Keeper was just this old guy in a ro brown robe, but... This, this is like more in the spirit of the Crypt Keeper that everyone knows and loves, and it's obviously the Crypt Keeper, but yeah, he's wearing his classic brown robe being all his spooky self and hello kitties and I do a terrible impression sorry but yeah classic one probably my favorite well like one of my favorites because this next one is also one of my favorites and you couldn't just do one version of the Crypt Keeper I mean you could probably do an entire like you could collect like 52 figures of the Crypt Keeper and I would probably do it but they only did two versions. And yeah, this is the other Crypt Keeper. It's like he's like presenting at an award show, which fun fact, there's actually an award show that happened in the early 90s called the Horror Hall of Fame. And there was three of them. I just found out about this the other day. But if you go on YouTube, type in 1990 Horror Hall of Fame. And also he's the Crypt Keeper is like involved in the award show a lot and he's almost like a co-host but this kind of reminded me of that because he's like wearing a fancy tux and like you know he looks like he's presenting award for most gruesome death or something like that i don't know i'm awkward but yeah i mean this is the rest of this is all my figures that i have for tales from the crypt keeper I was able to acquire all of them thanks to Kelly and so I started with three from just looking at this antique mall. I got all three of them at this antique mall and then Kelly went online and found the rest of them and bought all of them. That is my Tales from the Crypt Keeper figure collection.